What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna to be looking at two retiring LEGO Star Wars sets. We have the UCS Gunship on one hand and the Master Builder Series Moss Eisley Cantina on the other. So I'm really excited to make this video because I think these are great sets that are both really gonna perform well on the aftermarket once retired. Let's get into it. All right, our first factor is shelf life. For the UCS Gunship, this was released in August of 2021 and is scheduled to retire at the end of the year 2023. So altogether, that would be a 28 month shelf life, which is about normal for UCS sets. A little bit on the short side, actually. Moving over to the Moss Eisley Cantina. This set came out September 16th, 2020. So by the time it retires, that'll be closer to three years, actually over three years of shelf life. It's also quite a bit longer than the shelf life, I should point out, on the last Master Builder series set, which is Betrayal at Cloud City. This set was on shelves for just over one year. So on the shelf life, I definitely have to say the gunship gets the advantage. We can look at past UCS sets. They do kind of vary in price point, in shelf life, and in aftermarket performance. We've seen with the X-Wings, the Snowspeeders, the Y-Wing, and the Millennium Falcon, that there can be re-releases of UCS sets. I will say with the UCS gunship, this is relatively unlikely because gunships tend to only come out with Lego every three, four, five years. And I would think that it would be at least five or 10 years before they attempt another UCS gunship. We could look at past gunships also as prior comps, and uh, they have all done phenomenal. We have the 7163 back from 2002. The set is, uh, let's see, $90 set, now going for close to a thousand. It is 20 years old though. You I gotta keep that in mind. 7676, I used to have this set, $120 set. It's over 600 now. Most recently you had 75021, 2013. This one's also done crazy, $120 set. And it does look like the value there is over 550. Just for fun, we could even go back and look at some mini gunships. Both of those have done great. It really seems that Republic Gunship can do no wrong. And then for the Master Builder series, you really don't have uh, too many prior comps. You have the 75222 Betrayal at Cloud City. So while this has 21 figures, actually only seven of them are unique. Whereas on the Cantina, you have 21 minifigures again, but nine of them are unique. If you did want to look at some of the UCS sets, the kind of play scale sets as Master Builder Series, you could also look at Assault on Hoth right here, or you could even go back further and look at the Ewok Village from back in like 2011. So what we can see here at Betrayal on Cloud City, 21 minifigures, presently a total value of $751. That's an average of $35.76 per minifigure. Now, obviously you have some outliers, especially at the high end. You have this unique Boba Fett minifigure going for 160. This Han Solo, this is interesting. A lot of Han Solos really aren't worth too much. I'm a little curious why this one is worth over $100. You have Lando Calrissian. So look at that. I mean, a quarter of this set's value alone is made up with this one minifigure. If you look at Lando, all his minifigures seem to do really, really wonderfully. And then moving over to look at the cantina, you have uh, some interesting cantina populants, some bounty hunters, a lot of interesting alien molds here. One thing I do have to say that I really like about the cantina is you're casting a wide net when you have a set that comes out and retires with 21 minifigures, nine of which are unique. If even one or two of those figures goes on to suddenly have a lot of demand or something, it only takes one or two to significantly lift the whole boat that is that set. But overall, I don't see a lot of the same iconicness. Like I don't see a Lando, you know, there's obviously no Boba Fett in this set. So I would be surprised if these 21 minifigures did quite as well as the last 21. Then moving over to the gunship for the figures, this is a big letdown with this set. It's a UCS set, you know, you're really getting it for the main build of it. Whereas with the Master Builder series, a lot more of that budget is used to justify unique minifigures and more play features. All right, now let's talk about price point. Both these sets did used to be $349. They've now been bumped up as of August, 2022 to $400. Now, when we're talking about $400 sets, we have to talk about the potentially limited upscale market that you're gonna be selling to. Because if you're buying a $400 set, let's say you're getting a good discount on it, you're getting it for 350. For you to double your money, if you're selling online, you need to sell for more than double. So you need to sell that $350 set for more than $700. Something to keep in mind with the box size on both these sets is that these are both really heavy, expensive to ship boxes. And if you can sell locally, you could definitely uh, save a lot on your shipping costs and your platform fees as well. The price per piece on these sets is very similar, about 12 and a half cents for the Cantina and closer to 12 cents for the Gunship. And within their themes, they're pretty comparable. All right, now if we look at the demand on the Republic Gunship, this is just the sales that have come directly from Amazon. You can see it was sitting at 350 for a long time. Then in August, they jumped the price up to 400 and now they're discounting it. 383 looks like the current price. For some reason, Amazon splits the third-party sellers for this set onto 
onto a different listing. But if you do look at the third party market, you can see that back in 2021 and even 2022, when this set was released, there was some pretty serious demand for it and buyers are willing to pay over 400, 500, or even $600 to get their hands on this set. That is a really good sign. And to me, really encouraging as someone who's considering investing in this UCS gunship. Moving over to the Cantina, we have a similar story. Not quite as much as the gunship and not quite as frequently. Yeah, but it looks like people are consistently willing to pay 500, 550, or $600 for this set. I will say as a value, I do like the fact that the Cantina is a display piece and a play set, as well as coming with 20 detailed high quality minifigures. This is also an iconic scene. Lego cannot get away from remaking the same A New Hope episode four sets over and over. So while I'm sure they'll make a Cantina scene again, I don't know that they'll ever make one as large or as detailed as this with as many figures again. All right, so these are both clearly awesome sets, awesome display pieces with great collectability. However, that doesn't automatically mean that I'm gonna be Lego investing in them. When you're looking at sets like this, I think it's important not to get too excited and not to break away from your game plan too much. For example, my business model relies heavily on getting sets at greater than 20% off, even 30, 40, or 50% off. And on these larger sets, it's just not possible to get sometimes as big of a discount. I should also mention with Brick Economy that I only use their data for sold listings. Those tend to be pretty accurate data. However, if you look at the chart for a non-retired set, something like this, this is completely AI generated garbage. It's basically just made up. Also the retirement predictions, totally inaccurate. I would definitely recommend sticking with something like the Brick Fanatics list to get the most up-to-date retirement information, which is actually really important information if you're a Lego investor deciding where to allocate your investment dollars. So I'm definitely looking at purchasing some quantity of both of these sets, even if it's just one of each. I'm still undecided on just how good of a discount I'm holding out for. So feel free to let me know in the comments what you think, uh, which of these sets you think will do better. And it'll be interesting to see as the years go by how this video ages. If you are liking my DD, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching DG Bricks. Have a great day.